news now for those who may from time to time find themselves on the wrong side of the law. The government has now unveiled a program that will give legal assistance to those who cannot afford the services of lawyers. The Attorney General, Professor Gidu Mwigai, says the program will now make such, make such assistance more structured. Across the country's many prisons are inmates whose cases remain inconclusive but with no legal help to make their arguments in court. With a prison population of approximately 51,000 inmates in 116 prisons, the government says the crisis is getting worse. This national action plan sets out major initiatives that will address legal aid concerns across the country while providing the necessary impetus to operationalize the Legal Aid Act 2016 and the National Legal Aid and Awareness Policy 2015. The plan will provide a broad strategic framework on legal aid while ensuring there is continued synergy and coordination amongst the stakeholders so as to provide legal aid that is responsive, affordable, affordable accessible, and speedy to all our people. Since independence provision of legal aid did not have institutional and coordination framework, the National Legal Aid Service Board Chair Nazima Malik assuring Kenyans of accessible and accountable legal aid services. The plan highlights the eight strategic objectives, which include to strengthen frameworks for policies, laws, and administrative processes that will ensure sustainable and quality access to justice to all. The launch coming as good news to law students who will have the opportunity to hone their skills by offering free legal services. Personally, my friends and I, we are here because we are interested in pro bono work and in helping the community as lawyers. And we, uh, from the judicial attachment I just recently finished, we saw so many cases of people without legal representation. We went to committee and people were like, I was wrongly convicted. This plan will help us give that legal aid to them. The current plan will run till 2022. George Maringa, KTN News.